Hi everybody, Sandy Boucher here and welcome back to my next Facebook Live. And first and foremost, guess what? It's not Monday. Once again, life has just been changing so rapidly lately and just a thousand moving parts. And I personally find that exciting and fun, but for those of you that were counting on coming here and being able to watch this video, maybe not so much. But I have been thinking of you and I did want to get this video out to you, especially all of you out there that are still doubting how strong you are or how much strength you carry. And today I have a little quiz for you. Something I wanted you to just walk through with me and I want to prove to you just how incredibly strong you are. So you can count on your fingers or you can grab a paper and pen and give yourself a check mark, whichever is easiest for you. This is not difficult, but hopefully it's thought provoking. So here we go. If you have ever been married, I want you to give yourself a point. Like I said, put a check mark on a piece of paper or count on your fingers, whichever. So if you've ever been married, Give yourself a point. If you've ever had a child, or for our men, if you've ever been there right by that woman's side and you were as scared and as overwhelmed as she was, then you give yourself a point. And you're going to see why we're doing this at the end. Now, this one, the wording is incredibly important, and only you know the answer. If you've ever felt like you had to move, and that's the important part, you felt it was beyond your control, whatever it was, you had to move away for work, you had to move away to get a job, whatever the case is, by the way, hi, John, hi, Ron, I see you guys have signed in, thanks for showing up today. If you have ever had to move for whatever reason, give yourself a point. The next one, if you've had the lovely experience of going on a job interview, then please give yourself a point. The next one, and I assume we would all get this point, if you've ever started school, if you can remember that first incredibly scary day, give yourself a point. And it doesn't matter which school you're starting, by the way, give yourself a point. If you've ever failed a test, and yes, been there, done that. If you've ever failed a test, give yourself a point. If you've ever had the experience of starting that new job and walking in there that very first day and not really knowing your place or the dynamic or whatever you're walking in on, give yourself a point. If you have ever passed or graduated from something, whatever it was, give yourself a point. If you've ever been divorced, give yourself a point. If you've ever been fired from a job, and again, been there, done that. If you've ever been fired from a job, give yourself a point. Now, this is the wording again. If you've ever taken an exam, and people who have know there's test and then there's exam. You've gone through the stress of taking an exam, give yourself a point. If you've ever lost a loved one, give yourself a point. If you've ever been in the incredibly uncomfortable position where you've been forced to make the decision and end a relationship, Give yourself a point. It doesn't matter what kind of relationship, whether it was a friendship or an intimate relationship. If you've had to make that hard decision, give yourself a point. If you've ever been seriously ill, and I'm talking about you're not sure how this is going to end or if this is going to be the end, that kind of seriously ill, give yourself a point. Just a couple more, three more. If you've ever have had a loved one who was seriously ill, give yourself a point. And the next one, we have things we're afraid of, and then we have phobias. It's like a fear on steroids. 
If you've ever attempted to overcome a phobia, it doesn't matter how it turned out. If you tried, gave it that your best shot to try to overcome a phobia, give yourself a point. And the last one is totally up to your call, your decision, your determination. If you've ever suffered a severe shock, give yourself a point. Now, why did I go through that list? Because medically, the things on that list are listed as the most stressful things that a human being can survive. What number did you come up with? How many check marks did you get? Tell me again, you're not a strong person. I know without a doubt that you're a strong person. And these things are not the reasons that we fail. These are the reasons and the experiences why we succeed. Those things were horrific and challenging. And you're standing on the other side of them. You made it through them. We have to stop seeing ourselves as as the victim of these life experiences and start celebrating that we had the strength and the opportunity to learn from them. You carry that wisdom now. You can help someone else going through that challenge. You can understand what they are going through and that is incredibly powerful. So please, do me a favor. One, share this quiz with your friends so they can start giving themselves credit too. Two, look at yourself as I see you, as the carrier of that wisdom, someone that is truly a gift to the people that know and love you. Start behaving and holding your head up and realizing you're that gift because the reality is that is the absolute truth. I hope this quiz helped you. I hope you're having an absolutely amazing day because that's exactly what you deserve. Until next time, this is Sandy Boucher and thanks for checking out my Facebook Live. Love you. Bye-bye.